The word for today, failure in perspective two. Let's take another look at how to minimize the fear of failure. One, pursue your God-given purpose in life. To truly succeed at something, you must have a passion for it. And God will not only reveal to you his purpose, he will give you a passion to pursue it. Paul had the gift, education, and connections to pursue a number of different careers. But he wrote, I am compelled to preach. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9, 16. What do you feel passionately about? It's a clue to your destiny. 2. Ask yourself these three questions. A. What's the worst that can happen if I don't succeed? You will still have God, your talents, your family, and other opportunities. B. Has this ever been done before? Even if not, so what? C. Is this fear a signal that I don't have the proper people, processes, or plans in place to succeed at this time? Then ask the really big question, what are the benefits I will enjoy if I succeed? Have a can-do attitude. So look your fear in the face and boldly assert, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. Don't let the familiarity of this scripture cause you to recite it by rote. Say it out loud. Really absorb the words. Get them into your spirit. Know that Christ threatens you to succeed for the glory of God. Know that when he guides you, he provides you with all that you need to succeed in whatever he has called you to do. That is the word for today.